Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and here is another review. This is on implicit differentiation with tangents. So, let's take a look at what we have, and here we go. Consider the curve defined by 3x squared plus 2y squared minus 8xy equals negative 48. So, on this one, let's use a different color. Find dy dx. So that means we need to implicitly differentiate this. So let's see how we can do this. Now, recall when we do implicit differentiation, you can use the y prime or you can use the dy dx. I'm going to use the dy dx, but remember, y prime just means dy dx. So over here, we will start off by taking the derivative of this one, and this is going to be 6x. Now, I wouldn't put a dx over dx, because that would just reduce itself out, and we don't put x prime, because that's really what it would be. So we just leave it as 6x, plus over here, this is going to be 4y, and now I would put that y prime, or dy dx. So whenever you differentiate, just as a reminder, and it's with respect to x, so derivative of y with respect to x, you need to put that. So basically, whenever you have a y, you need to put a dy dx. Minus, and I'm going to put the 8 on the outside here, and I'm going to need the product rule here. So this will be the first times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of y would be dy dx plus the second times the derivative of the first, which would just be 1, equals the derivative of that is just going to be 0. So let's clean this up. You end up with 6x plus 4y dy dx minus, this will be 8x dy dx minus 8y equals 0. We need to collect the dx or dy dx's on the same side. So this becomes 4y dy dx minus 8x dy dx. And we're going to put this negative 6x. So we'll bring this over to the other side. And we'll bring this over to the other side plus 8y. Now we can factor out the dy dx, and we're going to be left with 4y minus 8x equals negative 6x plus 8y. Finish the problem over here. dy dx will be this negative 6x plus 8y, all divided by the 4y minus 8x. Now, leave it like this on the AP test. Don't try to simplify. I'm going to right now just simplify this just to make it a little bit easier when we do some calculations later. I know um, that I told you don't simplify, but the numbers will get a little nasty later, so I'm going to just divide everything by 2 is basically all I'm doing, right? So it's just basically multiply the top and bottom by 1 half, if you want to think of it that way. So this becomes negative 3x plus 4y over 2y minus 4x. Again, you don't need to. I would leave it like this you're just going to have bigger numbers on the next part of the problem. All right, so moving on to that next part, and it says, find the slope of the tangent to the curve at each point where x equals 4. So when x equals 4, we need to find the tangent line, the slope of whatever line tangent we have. Well, this right here, which we just found, is the slope of the tangent line. But I need to... I have an x value, right? Right here, they gave me the 4. I don't know what my y value is. So what this problem first makes us do is to go through and find those y values. Could be 1, could be more. Let's find out. So I'm going to use my original equation. Let me write it over here again real quick. We've got 3x squared plus 2y squared minus 8xy equals negative 48. And I'm going to use this to try to find out uh, what the y value is when my x is 4. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say 3 times 4 squared plus 2y squared minus 8 times 4 for x times the y equals the negative 48. So I end up with 3 times 16 plus 2y minus 32y equals negative 48. And this should be 2y squared. Sorry about that. 
And so this becomes 48 plus 2y squared minus 32y equals negative 48. Let's put everything on the same side. So I'll get 2y squared minus 32y. Add 48 to each side, I'll get 96. And this equals 0 now. So I'm going to take a 2 out, and I'll get y squared minus 16y plus 48 equals 0. So now we can see if this factors, and we have y uh, 12 times 4 would give me 48. And so this would be minus 12, my, y minus 4. Uh, 12, negative 12 times negative 4 is positive 48, and this would be 16 in the middle there equals 0. So here we get two answers for y, so we get y equals 12 and 4. So we've got two points that we need to examine. We've got the point 4, 12, and then we've got the point 4, 4. So those were the two values I found. So I need the slopes. Now, how do I get the slopes? Well, I have from my previous problem, dy dx equals negative 3x plus 4y all over 2y minus 4x. So I'm going to substitute these values in, and I'll get dy dx equals negative 3 times 4 plus 4 times 12 all divided by 2 times 12 minus 4. 4 times 4. So this first dy dx comes out to be negative 12 plus the 48 all divided by 24 minus the 16. This becomes 36 all divided by 8. So 36 divided by 8, that'd be 4 and a half. So that would be the slope of this first tangent. Now let's do the other one. I'm going to change uh, color here real quick so that we can keep this set as the other problem. So this will be negative 3 times 4 plus 4 times 4 all over 2 times 4 minus 4 times 4. So dy dx on the other slope would be negative 12 plus 16 over 8 minus 16 dy dx would be 4 over negative 8. dy dx would be negative 1 half. And there's your two slopes. So this is the first slope, and there's the second slope. So it says find the slope of the tangent line. At each point, we had two points. We found each slope. All right, moving on to part C. Find the positive value of x at which the curve has a vertical tangent. Show the work that leads to your answer. So we have our dy dx over here, which we had solved for already. And let me write it down for you guys again. Um, and this is dy dx equals negative 3x plus the 4y all divided by 2y minus the 4x. And we had to solve this up here for the slopes. But now we want a vertical tangent. This is the slope, right? This was our slope formula. dy dx was our slope. So how do we get a vertical tangent? Well, when something's undefined. How do we get something to be undefined? Well, when the bottom is equal to 0. That's one way to get it undefined. So we need this 2y minus 4x to be equal to 0 to get a vertical tangent. Well, 2y would end up being 4x, so y would be 2x. Here is our y value that would lead to a vertical tangent. But we need the value of x. So the reason why I did this right here was so that I could substitute it back into the original equation to solve for that x. So remember, our original equation was 3x squared plus 2y squared minus 8xy equals negative 48. I believe that was what it was. Let's just double check that. It was 3x squared plus 2y squared minus 8xy equals negative 48. So I've got that down. So let's plug in the y value. We're going to substitute that in right here. 
I'll highlight it for you guys right here and right here and then we can solve for the x so let's go ahead and do that and now we end up with 3x squared plus 2 times the y value is 2x squared minus 8x and then 2x is the y value equals negative 48 so this becomes 3x squared plus this is 4x squared in here when I square that so it'll be 8x squared when I multiply this by 2 minus this will be 16x squared equals negative 48. So here I'll get 11x squared minus 16x squared equals negative 48. So this will give me negative 5x squared equals negative 48. So x squared will be 48 over 5. So that means x will be the square root of 48 over 5. And you notice I'm not using plus or minus because the question itself said find the positive value of x. So they only cared about the positive value of x. All right, let's move on to this last part and see what we end up with. On this last one, it says, let x and y be functions of time that are related by the equation 3x squared plus 2y squared minus 8xy equals negative 48. At time t equals 1, the value of x is 3. The value of y is negative 1, and the value of dy dt is 2. Find the value of dx dt at time t equals 1. So this time, we're going to take a derivative with respect to time, because it says x and y right here, x and y are functions of time. So since these are functions of time, I'm going to take a dx dt and a dy dt. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to end up with 6x. Now this time I have to put a dx dt because I took a derivative of x and it was with respect to time this time. Plus 4y dy dt minus the 8. Now I need to use the product rule again on that part. So it'll be first times the derivative of the second, which would be dy dt, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which would be dx dt, equals 0 again when I take that derivative. Now I'm given some values here. So let's see what I'm given. I'm given at time t equals 1. The value of x, because this is when we need to find it, at we need to find this dx dt at time t equals 1. I'm given that the value of x is 3. I'm given the value of y is negative 1, and I'm given dy dt is 2. So let's plug these in. So 6 times 3 times dx dt, I don't know, so let's uh, back that up and put a dx dt there, plus 4 y is negative 1, and I know my dy dt is 2, minus 8, x is uh, 3, dy dt is 2, so times 2, plus y is negative 1, and my dx dt, I don't know, equals 0. So this becomes 18 dx dt minus 8, and then this would be minus 8, and this would be 6 minus dx dt equals 0. So let's distribute. So 18 dx dt minus 8 minus 48 minus 8 dx dt, and that would equal 0. So over here, I end up with 18 dx dt minus 56 minus 8 dx dt equals 0. Let's finish it over here. I'm going to take a dx. I'm going to bring the 56 over and take a dx dt out. So, well, let's back that up a bit. Let's just bring the 56 over first. So I end up with 18 dx dt uh, because I can combine this minus 8 dx dt 
equals 56. So when I combine these, I'll get 10 dx dt uh, equals 56 divided by 10 dx dt will be 5.6. And there you have it. All right, <clears throat> so that would be the value of this dx dt at time t equals 1. And this one wasn't too bad. You just needed to remember differentiation. Since this time it's with respect to t, you have to still use the product rule on every part of it and go from there. So this is something that could show up. Again, this is just making sure you guys understand implicit differentiation, tangents, and how to deal with those. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.